Hello everyone. So I have some important information about Manicam. So I have been using Manicam for many, many years now. I got it when I first started with VIP Kid and like most of us that used Manicam with VIP Kid and if you're using it now, you purchased that one-time lifetime subscription. It was an excellent deal because if you paid monthly and you're using it for more than one year, it was gonna cost you a lot of money. So everybody that I know of bought the lifetime subscription. I don't even remember how much it was, but I know I definitely have gotten my money's worth because I used it all through VIP Kid and I'm still using it today with my private tutoring. So two days ago, I was teaching in the morning and I had to go take my son to school and I forgot to shut down my computer, which I usually do. So I went into sleep mode. So I take my son to school and I come back, I wake up my computer and all of a sudden my Manny cam has changed. It now looks like this. I didn't click on anything in the past. Every time there was a, an update, there'd be a box that would pop up asking me if I wanted to update my Manny cam and I would just do it later because I didn't want to deal with that in the middle of like my break for teaching. But this time it just did it by itself. I have no idea why. And it looked completely different. It looked like this. So if you have this new version, you'll notice the big difference. So I was like, okay, whatever. I'll just deal with this later. I have to teach in like 15 minutes. But then I noticed, why is there a watermark on my Manny cam? I didn't have that before with my lifetime subscription. So I'm kind of looking around, where do I get rid of this? I have to teach soon. And I saw this watermark Manny cam. I was like, oh, I'll just hit this button up oh, upgrade now. I was like, well, maybe, you know, sometimes if your subscription gets turned off, I just need to turn my subscription on with this new update. Okay, whatever. So I go looking, I go up here, I go to my settings, I go to my account, then I go to subscriptions and I was like, oh, okay, here's my studio lifetime. I just need to turn it on. Well, when I click that, Activation failed. An unknown error occurred. The subscription type does not cover Manicam 8 or higher. What on earth? I was so confused. I didn't have time to deal with it because I was about to teach a class. So I was like, whatever. I'll just teach with this watermark. I also noticed none of my little preset things, I don't use them, but they're all locked, which I know I had more than that. So I was like, something weird is going on. So. I, of course, sent an email, logged into my account, sent an email to Manicam support to see what the deal is. And they got back to me today. And this is the email. I'll read it since it might be hard to see. It says, hi there. Thank you for your request. With Manicam's change of ownership, we will no longer be selling lifetime subscriptions. If you are a current lifetime subscription holder, you still have lifetime access to both Manicam 7 as well as Manicam Lite, which still possess all the features you know and love. To access the new and improved Manicam 8 version, which I have <laughs> right now, um, you must have an active yearly or two year subscription. As part of our loyalty program, you can claim Manicam 8 annual for free per each paid lifetime subscription you own. You will find out more information here. It says this offer is completely free of charge. No extra payment is required. Your original subscriptions will not be terminated if you take advantage of this offer and the free subscriptions provided within the offer cover all Manicam products. To take advantage of this offer, navigate to your paid Manicam account and press claim Manicam 8 annual subscription. And then he also gave me some download links for the Manicam 7, which was the previous version that I had, and then Manicam 8, which is the current version that I have right now. It says, please note, if you need to install Manicam 7 over Manicam 8, please first uninstall Manicam 8. Thank you for your understanding. So, if I take a look at my Manicam subscription, so here it is right here, Manicam Studio, and you'll notice that this version, this Manicam 8, it's basically like the free version, like what we had before you had the subscription. So I don't have all the different feeds at the bottom. I have the watermark that I don't want. So if I go here, you'll see it says claim Manicam 8 to your subscription. So it says as a holder of a lifetime subscription, you are eligible 
for the following offers. So I can click on this get subscription to get two years of Manicam Studio for free. So here, basically what he said, this offer is completely free of charge. Your original subscriptions will not be terminated. The free subscription provided within this offer covers all Manicam products and you take you can take advantage of all offers available to you at once. But what he doesn't say, and what this doesn't say is, after this two years, this free two years, I'm guessing I'm gonna have to start paying. He didn't say that, it doesn't say that here, but that is kind of what I'm gathering from what I'm reading. They're giving you this two years for free, and then after that, you're probably going to have to either use the free version or pay for this new studio version that's not lifetime. And if you want to know how much that costs, it's right here. So the standard, actually it looks like they don't even have a free version. It looks like they only have a standard, which is 49 a year, the studio, which is what you would be getting for free for two years, that's 79 a year, or the premium for 99 a year. So you have some decisions to make you can easily use that free offer. And then if you, after two years, if they tell you you now have to pay if you want to keep it, then you can just go back to using Manicam 7, but you will need to be able to install Manicam 7. Or you can now, because if you don't need Manicam 8, you don't want Manicam 8, you can go ahead and uninstall your Manicam 8 and then reinstall the old version which is Manicam 7 and make sure you have that. For me personally I don't use Manicam the way I used to use it when I taught with VIP Kid. With VIP Kid the lessons I thought were kind of boring so I added a lot of effects and I used green screen and I used the picture in picture with Google Slides so I did a lot and I needed Manicam then. I had to have it. Um, but now with my private tutoring, I can do so much more with my classes without Manicam that I honestly don't use it for very much. I use it for a few effects, maybe. And then the only other thing I really use it for is this. <laughs> so I just have this that I put on. If I get to class early and my students in class, I just put this up on my screen that way they don't see me, but I can just turn off my camera. Not a big deal. So I don't really need Manicam anymore personally. So I definitely don't need Manicam 8. So what I plan to do is just uninstall Manicam 8 and reinstall Manicam 7 because it has everything that I need. I don't need, I haven't even looked at it, but whatever that is here, I don't need it. Manicam 7 was perfectly fine for my needs. So. Hopefully this video will save somebody else from being confused if their Manicam randomly changes on them and wondering why you have a watermark. You have that information now to make that decision. What do you think is the best for you? I thought about doing the Manicam 8 and trying it out, but whatever, I don't need it. I don't even really need Manicam personally, but I'm gonna go back to Manicam 7 and continue the way I was using it before. Bye everyone.